Hey, what's going on guys? We are back. Ryan Weber, your host with Ryan Weber Training. Today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get better sleep. Make sure you don't miss this, stay tuned. We'll see you in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're gonna jump right into it. One of the things that I talk to uh, about people the most that they seem to struggle and have problems with is sleep. I myself can relate. I've worked as a fireman paramedic for over 17 years, and I can tell you that I have an extremely messed up, screwed up <laughs> sleep schedule. But I have found ways to overcome and master this so that when I actually have the time and I'm not working, I can get much better sleep. Throw in the fact that I have a couple of kids, and man, you can imagine, all right, sleep sometimes is a hard thing to come by. So what really happens when people have a hard time sleeping? Generally speaking, it has to do with something with the mind. People in life overall, are carrying around a lot of stress. Stress will keep people awake at night. Stress causes your mind to be overactive. Stress causes worry. And worry can cause disease and sickness in your body. Now, I'm not gonna go too deep down the rabbit hole and talk about these things now. In this video, we're gonna really stay focused on sleep. But I do wanna point out to you guys that stress and overactive minds are definitely a big reason why a lot of us, myself included, have problems sleeping. So what can we do? What can we do to alleviate our mind, to reduce some of that stress and help ourselves sleep better? Because better sleeps can lead to so many things, increased productivity, thinking more clearly, better hormone production, weight loss, uh, fat loss I'm talking about, a muscle gain, lean muscle gain, being more uh, inspiring, more uh, proactive at work in your career and your endeavors, more present with your kids, with your family, whatever it may be, when you have more sleep, whatever you do, whatever you're excited about, you're going to do better. You're going to do more. You're going to be able to do more of it and just be that much more focused. So the first thing that we can do is really try to reduce stress in our lives and easier said than done. But if you can acknowledge right now, take a mental inventory and think, what is it that's stressing me out the most? You can acknowledge that. Close your eyes, and it's almost like a simple meditation. Think about that thing, take a couple of deep breaths, and just let it go. When I say let it go, don't try so hard to let this thing go. Just easily close your eyes, a few, couple deep breaths, open your eyes, come present, and keep your eyes closed if you want, but just relax first, you know, your forehead, relax your eyes, relax your jaw, relax your chest. Just feel all that tension and stress going away, just dissipating from your body. And the thing that you're thinking about, it just kind of falls down, falls suit, and it's going to fall away. That is one way to alleviate stress. Give it a shot. It works for a lot of people. For some people, it may not. It really just depends on how present you can get and how well you can calm yourself down. But what a lot of people want to do is maybe they'll go to their doctor and say, hey, you know what, doc, I can't sleep. Just give me a pill. I got to sleep. So they start to have this chemical dependency on sleep. Well, that's not good either because after a while, you have to keep on increasing dosages. Your body has this thing called tolerance, and the more you take, the more you can handle. So the dosages keep on going up. The result, eh. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. And then if you don't take that pill or whatever it is, you may have a really hard time sleeping because you were dependent upon that thing that you thought was helping you sleep better. It may work in the short term, but in the long term, it can really screw things up. So I have a couple of natural approaches, uh, four to be exact, that I'm gonna share with you. And these four natural approaches will help you stay away from that chemical dependency, help you to overcome and alleviate some stress so you can get a better night's sleep, okay? So here we go, jumping in, number one. The supplement, ZMA. The ZMA is zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. Now, in the marketplace today, there are so many different forms, different types of ZMA. But ZMA is typically made up of zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. I think the main thing that causes people to sleep better with the ZMA is magnesium. You want to be careful with magnesium. You don't want to take too much because too much can actually have a laxative effect. And uh, yeah, you'll have a rest, restful night of sleep and wake up in the middle of the night with some colon blow. Not fun. So what I recommend, 
Dosages somewhere around 300 milligrams. If you want to start half of that to begin with and kind of test or assess your tolerance, go ahead. But ZMA is something that works really well. It's also been studied to help increase natural levels of growth hormone, testosterone, and you can always find a study that says, yes, this is true. No, this isn't true. Bottom line, I have taken ZMA. I have personally tried this and tested this. ZMA is one of those few things on the market that when I take it, I'm out like a light. I sleep like a baby. It doesn't work every single time. I want to say it works 99% of the time. I still, every once in a while, have those nights. No matter what I do, I'm just awake, okay? It happens. The next thing is CBD. CBD, you're hearing so many wonderful things about CBD. Now, I'm not making any medical claims about CBD at all. I'm going to relate to you my experience. A buddy of mine has CBD or terpenes. Uh, terpenes are supposedly going to help with the absorption of the CBD, and it has an anti-anxiety effect. I wouldn't say I'm an, an anxious person, but I will tell you, when I take a dropper of his CBD before I go to sleep, I sleep really well. I have not had a bad night of sleep yet from taking his CBD. Fitness First, fitnessfirst.com, that's where I get it. Check them out. Angela and Kristen, they're freaking awesome. They're rock stars. They will take care of you if you tell them I sent you. With that being said, again, this worked for me and it works for most people. There can still be that person out there who may take it and think, you know what, this is crap, this doesn't work. Okay, fine, so be it. But CBD for a lot of people does work. I suggest you go online and do more research and find out about the health, all the health benefits that CBD can do for you. May talk about it in the video, but with the laws out there, I have to be really careful what I say and how I talk about it. So just know that it could potentially help. The third thing, melatonin. Now, melatonin is a hormone produced by the body and it's involved with the sleep cycle. There are studies that when you take melatonin, it shows, yes, you will sleep better, you fall asleep faster, but you know it's not necessarily conclusive that it's the end-all, be-all, yes, you'll sleep longer, deeper, harder. Again, like anything else, for some people it works and for others it doesn't. Why am I bringing these all up? Well, because listen, I've tried melatonin as well, and in my experience, melatonin has gotten me to fall asleep quicker and have a more restful night's sleep. So I'm not gonna tell you guys about something I haven't tried just to say, oh, hey, cool, look, I'm making a video. No, I'm telling you guys my real life experience with these supplements. I believe they work. Again, nothing is a silver bullet, but everybody's different. Every body's different. Every body chemistry makeup is different. You got to see what works for you. And the only way you can truly find out, I don't care how many studies you read or what people tell you, if it works, if it doesn't work, try it for yourself. These are all very low investment products. You can at the store for about $30 or so, maybe even less. CBD, sometimes maybe a little bit more. But regardless, a couple of dollars is totally worth it when we're talking about sleep. When you have better sleep, you just feel better at everything, like I said. Now, the last thing I'd recommend is what I kind of started out with is meditation. Now, I'm not going to do a whole video and in-depth observation of what meditation is and how to do it and the right and the wrong ways. Look, I don't care. Basically, the idea of meditation for the purpose of this video is you are focusing on a desired outcome, which, excuse me, which is sleep. So, what are you going to do? Again, I'd recommend closing your eyes, whether you're sitting in a chair, you're lying down in a bed, and slowly relax your body from head to toe. Start with the forehead, start with the eyes, then the jaw, then your neck, then the traps, then your chest, your abdomen. Start with the, um, <clears throat> the diaphragm, your waist, your legs. Keep on going down. Relax every inch of your body the absolute best you can, and imagine yourself just falling into a very deep slumber. Now, this has worked wonders for me. As a matter of fact, I generally only get through half of this process before I realize some time in the middle of the night, I wake up to go to the bathroom. Oh, hey, look, I fell asleep. Yay, good for me. Other people may go through the whole process. For other people, maybe you have to think about something that's gonna help you sleep a little bit better. Whatever that thing is, go to your happy place. I'll tell you, the best time to reflect on positive things and what you should be doing every single night before you go to bed is reflect on positive things throughout the day. Even if you had a lousy day, by simply shifting from the negative, what went wrong, to positive and what went well, you can entirely change the whole dynamic of your night's sleep. Does it sound crazy? Yeah, it does. Will I explain it in this video? No, we will definitely talk about that later on. It has to do with the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff, but trust me, it works. So, what did we learn in this video? We learned that in order to get better sleep, we want to slow down our minds. We have, all have these overactive minds and we may have a built up level of stress. By reducing our levels of stress, by slowing down our minds through meditation or breathing techniques, we can get to a lot better sleep. 
The other three things we can do is we can take a supplement called ZMA, we can try CBD, or we can try melatonin. All can be purchased online at the grocery store, health food store, very low cost to barrier, so they're very affordable supplements. And one thing may work for one person, not as well for another, so the only way to truly know if this works for you is to give it a shot. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video on how to get better sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I value your time. If you like this video, by all means, give us some support. Smash that like button. I appreciate you for doing that. If you have any questions, leave those questions down in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos, anything you're wondering about, let me know because we're doing this on a regular basis. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Nothing but value in this channel. We're not trying to sell you anything. We're just making sure that your questions are answered to the best of our ability so you're happy and you have a happier, healthier, more productive life. Boom! All right, guys, enough said. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.